Philippines within the Coma, where I did the example in the Haida Fiha Sintin Sana, where neurological cystic function. The nest di, yani the lelet, be no and the glucomatous optic nerve appearance, where the field can check the way. The nest di is called normal tension glucoma plus. وإذا لقيت حالة فيها منظر في بتاع الكومة والديسك شكل الكومة كان لازم كان نفسي يكون فيه في السلايد بتاعتها صورة للفاندس كنت هتلاقوا دفنتلي بالر البالر علامة مهمة جدا لو كان البرشر كويس وحط عليها بقى هيستوري سينكوبل اتاكس هادكس كولد اكستريميتيز كل اللي انت عايزه انما وجود بالر اوتستاندنجلي بطريقه واضحه مع مع نورمال بريشر ذس از نورمال تنشن جلوكوما بلس ويستدعي بالضروره كونسلت النيورولوجيست لان احنا هنوفر على العيان حاجات كتيره وي سيف هيم لوتس اوف دامج فيرثر دامج دلوقتي النكست سبيتش هتبقى الدكتورة نانسي خيرت هتكلمنا على ال دكتورة سيدة بتسمح لي اسأل حضرتك سؤال في ترمينولوجي على ما انسى السؤال في ترمينولوجي بيستخدم في الجلوكوما اسمه سسبيشس فيلد خلاص فأنا عايز اسأل حضرتك الفرق ما بين الايرلي جلوكوما فيتشرز اللي حضرتك وريتيها لنا وان نقول ان ده سسبيشس فيلد ايه الفرق ما بينهم؟ Patients are usually asymptomatic early in their disease. The ocular hypertension treatment study stated that 85.9% of abnormal and reliable visual fields were not confirmed on retest. It also stated that three consecutive fields are required to reliably confirm glaucoma. Another thing is that structural loss precedes functional loss. So, if we look visual field only, we may be missing up to 55% of glaucoma patients without optic disc assessment. ومن هنا كان في an increasing need for an objective morphologic evaluation particularly في حالات pre-parametric glaucoma. تمييز هذه morphologic changes occurred through disc photography, confocal scanning laser ophthalmoscopy, scanning laser polarimetry, and our optical coherence tomography. Quickly, the morphological history of OCT Actually, it has an amazingly short history within ophthalmology relative to its impact on the field nowadays. The history moved through the OCT1 and the OCT2 in the late 90s and 2000s, moving through the time domain stratus OCT3 in 2002, and then 
the four-year domain OCT, it can be a generation and leave in the time domain OCT, the added resolution with speed without MKS. The first glaucoma OCT was by Truman in 1995, Truman et al. The first corneal OCT by Izar et al. in 94. As we mentioned, there has been a generation leave between the time domain and the four-year domain OCT. With the stem for your domain, the three-dimensional visualization became possible and the high resolution became standard, near histological pictures of the disease. Ever since OCT became in a vicious circle, better technology led to more applications, larger market and eventually more research and so on. Now we talk about the role of OCT in glaucoma, which is an anterior segment of OCT used in the pachymetry and angle evaluation with it also in posterior segment evaluation that will be covered in detail. Certain machines, they are to view on the corneal adapter module, the certain lenses, one for high magnification and the other for wider field, which will be applied to the to individualize the anterior segment. The machine can perform pachymetry, the map is divided into zones by octants, and three annular rings within a central corneal thickness with certain parameters to stack them up to the head of the suspicion. And of course, pachymetry has an important role in the falses that we can use in the intraocular pressure measurement, if it's beyond the range, so it's not a lot. The OCT command is very useful in angle assessment, and it's not the same as the UBM in the visualization posterior to the iris. باستخدام الـ OCT بنقدر نعمل حاجة اسمها Angle Opening Distance وبنعمل Angle Recess Area and the Trabecular Iris Space Area ودول كلهم بيستخدموا في الـ Evaluation في الـ Evaluation of the Angle whether it's an Open Angle or Narrow Angle وده هيبقى covered in detail أكتر في other sessions وتورينا لو في Narrow Angle لو في Peripheral Anterior Synechia and any other abnormalities they Angle Recession ندخل على Posterior Segment يقوم affects three areas in the Posterior Segment of the Eye the optic disc with the subsequent cupping, the nerve fiber layer with subsequent thinning, and the macular ganglion cell loss. OCT provides high resolution, objective, quantitative assessment of the retinal cellular layers affected by glaucoma. Well, highest segmentation that is very important in such a disease. Optic nerve head analysis, yes, a radial scanning across optic nerve head. Six four millimeter scans are taken. The adhesives are different slightly among each other, and the principle is the same. I chose two machines that I worked on, but there are also other machines with slightly different instructions. The case is the size. We have the case with six radial scans for visualization of the optic fundus photo. The patient sits in the case and sits at the machine and looks at a specific target. He is holding the lens. And here we have a picture of the patient's eye, and we can uh, click the pupil center to align the eye and to focus. And we make sure that the scan pattern is on the disc, and we can click to drag the fixation target or the scan pattern. When I and these three or four photos are well centralized in the machine, and we just click and get the image, and we check the signal strength of the image, if it's okay or not. ده النموذج للريبورت اللي بيطلع لينا بجهاز الزايس السيريس هنا this is the fundus image with OCT fundus overlay دي الفندس image بتاعتنا في both eyes هي both eyes بيطلعوا in one can be in one paper ودي retinal nerve fiber layer circular scan مثرودة extracted along 3.4 mm diameter the retinal nerve fiber layer thickness maps with hot spots indicating thinning ودول deviation maps from normal here the sectoral, color co sectoral, uh, solar sectoral, color coded in comparison to the other normative data, where red is outside normal limits, yellow is borderline, and green is within normal. We have a different case, a temporal superior nasal infratemporal graph in comparison to with normative data, where red is outside normal limits, yellow is borderline, and green is within normal. Will be above normal, where the graph of the patient may be able. Symmetry comparison between both eyes in one graph. Another machine is the RT view. Again, it objectively detects the edge of the optic disc from the edge of the retinal, the margin of the optic disc from the edge of the retinal pigment epithelium. The machine here has a retinal nerve fiber layer thickness map with the color coded where brighter colors are. Ahmed represent thicker areas. We'll set the retinal nerve fiber layer in the area at the periphery. The opposite, it's color-coded in comparison to normative data, while the red is outside normal limits, 
yellow is